Welcome back. Big 6-2 win for Manchester United last night. At least one foot in the Europa League final, you'd have to say. But it's been a different mood, not a celebratory mood, as the club has held their fans forum today. Now, the fans read out a letter to the club's representatives at the start of this meeting. We picked out some key points for you here. Obviously, a highly charged fortnight since the European Super League project emerged and then perhaps disappeared for now, at least. So some key points for you. Joel Glazer, a Glazer apology in the words of the fans, not accepted because he is looking for quote-unquote personal profits. They say they shouldn't need to explain the importance of the European Cup. The man that led them into the European Cup, of course, Sir Matt Busby, has referenced as well. His warning that the club can't be run like a supermarket. The late, great Sir Matt Busby won five English titles with Manchester United as well. And also cites Sir Matt Busby's warning that the club uh, can't be run like a supermarket. One billion out of club in the last 16 years. The leverage of the debt by the owners, uh, the Glazers. And the UCL reforms, which are the Champions League they're referring to there, are ESL light. Presumably in reference and specifically to the fact there will be invitational opportunities for clubs. We'll not have to 100% qualify on merit to the Champions League. Uh, zero trust in owners was a conclusion point who they say don't understand or care about United's traditions. That's the fans' perspective. A Manchester United spokesperson said this in summary of their position and reaction. Senior club leaders, including Executive Vice Chairman Ed Woodward, met with our fans' forum this morning to discuss concerns related to the abandoned proposals for a European Super League. Ed reiterated our apology for the mistakes made and we listened carefully to the strong views eloquently expressed by the fan representatives. We remain committed to engagement with the Fans Forum to ensure that fan interests are understood and respected in future. Now, Ed Woodward has, of course, announced his intention to leave Manchester United at the end of the calendar year. Some speculation he'll be phased out before that. But Woodward himself, interestingly, has gone on record here with some comments. And he says, I know that you will feel angry and let down by the lack of consultation and by the way the proposal failed to recognise the vital principle of open competition. Petition. Proper discussion would have helped us avoid the mistake we made. As uh, Joel, Joel Glazer, said last week, we failed to give enough weight to the essential principles and traditions of sporting merit, which are so vital to football, not just in domestic competition, but in European competition since the mid-1950s. Again, that is relating to the era of Sir Matt Busby, the tragedy, of course, of the Munich air disaster in the 1950s for Manchester United as they were a pioneering club in Europe, ultimately winning it in 1968. Now, Ed Woodward concludes, we want to restate our commitment to those traditions. I can assure that we have learned our lesson from the events of the past week and we do not seek any revival of the Super League plan. So that conclusion there to the fans' forum comments, the reaction to it, perhaps that is the vital line there. Because with Florentino Perez, the Real Madrid president, saying in recent weeks the Super League project is just on hold, will be back at some point. Ed Woodward saying that we do not seek any revival of the Super League plans.